Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate cake party guide for paleo. Today I'm going to quickly go through all of the rolls, what materials need to bring for each of them and the steps that happen for each round during a cake party. Cake parties are ideal for earning gold in paleo and I will discuss the profits later in this video. Most people run cake parties in rounds of 30 or 50 but some people even go up to 100 or beyond that. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, this is what a cake party setup usually looks like. If you take a quick look around this room, this is the kind of setup that you'll be entering into in somebody's plot. There are six rolls involved in a cake party. These include the starter, the leafers, the batterers, the froster, the bakers, and the jammers. Each of these rolls is vital to making every single cake during a cake party. Today I will be giving an example of all of the rolls that are involved in a 50 times cake party. First you'll start off with the starter. This is the person with the celebration cake recipe and they also have 50 star quality blueberries. This is the person who starts off the recipe so that everybody else can contribute. Next you have the leafers. These are four people who bring 50 sweet leaf each. It is a good idea to put your butter, flour, milk and eggs into your lockbox when you're a leafer just so that you don't accidentally do somebody else's job. Next you have the batterers. This is three people who have each 50 butter, 50 eggs and 50 flour. Again, it is a good suggestion to put your milk and your sweet leaf into your lockbox so that you don't do anybody else's job. Next we have our jammers. These are three people who bring 50 apple jam or 50 blueberry jam. It is preferred that these jams are starred, but some people don't mind and some people do, so it will depend on your party. For jammers, it is a suggestion that you lock away any other jams that you aren't using for that session. Next we have our bakers. These are three people who operate the ovens. They do not need to bring any items, so it is ideal for new players or people who don't have anything yet. Some people will require that the bakers are less than level 10 cooking, but it'll again depend on your party. Next we have the froster. This is one person with 50 milk and 50 butter. Again, a suggestion is to put eggs and flour into the lockbox if you're a froster. Alrighty, so now that we've covered all of the rolls and what they do, I'm going to quickly go over how much it costs to operate each of the rolls. The cost of being a starter is 50 star quality blueberries. This is usually somebody who has reached closer to the end game and has already reached level 10 gardening to be able to get the seeds from Bardrew. You also need to own the Celebration Cake recipe, which is 3,000 gold from Ref, but it is only a one-time purchase, so it's not too bad. The cost of being a leafer is 50 sweet leaf. These are found in the northmost parts of Bahari Bay. I will be releasing a video later about the best pathing routes to get forageables and mining, so keep an eye out for that. You can tend to get around 50 sweet leaf in around 25 minutes if you have a good pathing route and they're spawning in correct areas. The cost of being a batterer is 50 butter, 50 eggs and 50 flour. You can buy these from Zeki's general store and this will cost you 5,700 gold out of pocket. Although this is slightly expensive you do end up getting back the amount of money that you spent so it does tend to turn a pretty good profit. The cost of being a jammer is 50 starred apple jam or 50 starred blueberry jam. It is often preferred to be starred apple jam which means that these are the people who are pretty far into the game and again have over level 10 gardening to be able to buy those seeds. You can also gain apple seeds from some quests during the game. I'm not quite sure which specific ones, but I know that I've at least gotten three or four just from NPCs and talking to them. This is one of the most time consuming roles, however, because getting jam takes about 50 minutes per jam. This is an AFK type of role though, because you don't have to be doing anything active for anything to turn into jam, which is quite good. Now the cost of being a baker is nothing. 
All you have to do is be a person who can press a button and click a mouse every single round of a cake party. These roles tend to go really, really quickly on the Discord in the looking for group parties, so make sure that you keep an eye on the channel and jump on it as soon as you can if you are looking to be somebody who runs the oven. Alrighty, and last but not least, the cost for being a froster is 50 milk and 50 butter. Again, you can buy both of these from Zeki's shop, and this will cost you about 7,000 gold out of pocket, which again is covered by the cake party profit. Alrighty, so the steps of a cake party are as follows. The starter will start the recipe with their gold starred blueberry. Then all four leafers on this side will crush their leaf into a sweet leaf ground. Next, the batterers will create one batter from one crushed sweet leaf, one butter, one egg, and one flour. Then the froster can create one frosting using one milk, one butter, and one crushed up sweet leaf. It is a good idea that the froster will wait until all of the batterers are finished because sometimes the menus get a little bit glitchy and it can make it so that the batterers mess up on their job. Next, you have the bakers who will bake one cake layer from one batter. This roll just has to put the cake into the oven and wait a few seconds and then take it back out again. Next, the jammers will use one jam and a cake layer and create one jellied cake layer. Now using the three of these layers, the starter will add them all to the cake and finish the recipe. In my testing, each cake takes around 45 seconds to a minute to complete. So you can do your own math to figure out how long your cake party should last. Also note that some people are very efficient at this process and can cut this down to a very, very, very quick time, but it really depends on the group of people that you're with, how experienced they are, and how quick they are at doing their jobs. Alrighty, so onto the profit side of a cake party. Each of the 15 people in the cake baking party will get 150 cakes each. Using star quality jams and star quality blueberries will mean that these have a higher chance of being starred quality. These star quality cakes sell for much, much higher than just a normal cake. There are three things that you can do with celebration cakes once you've finished your party. You can either put them into your shipping bin. You'll earn around 45 to 50,000 gold through this method. However, there are easier ways to get more money out of each cake party. You can put your cakes into worm farms, which will earn you about double the amount of gold. Or if you put them into glowworm farms, you will also earn about double the amount of gold, but the tray will fill up less quickly, so you will not have to empty it as often. This turns the celebration cakes into some kind of a short passive income, which will take around a couple of days to finish off. If you sell the worms and the fertilizer that are both produced, then you will earn quite a lot more money from that. Each cake, however, does take an hour to turn into worms and fertilizer, so this is a less time-saving option. My favorite method for selling cakes is to sell all of the star quality ones, just put them into my shipping bin, and then put all of the normal ones into glowworm farms, because they turn a higher profit margin than the starred quality into the glowworm farms. This means that I'm getting immediate money and also a little bit of a trickle down as I grab the glow worms and the fertilizer out of the bins every day. Alrighty, and that's about it. Cake parties in Paleo are a very, very easy way to make quick amounts of money for anybody in the beginning stages of gameplay to even the highest of high levels. It is also a really good way to connect with the community you stand in somebody's plot for about 30 to 45 minutes on average and just chat and have a good time and meet new people. Once you do more and more cake parties, you will definitely get used to it. It is definitely a skill and you learn to listen to the sound cues on when it's your turn to do your mixing or do your baking. And remember that it is perfectly normal to be nervous to reach out to people to join their parties, but everybody in this community is extremely welcoming, so I'm sure you will have a good time. 
There's a couple of resources that I'll put down into the description on the cake math and the wiki page for the cake party. But yeah, anyway, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.